Let's dive into it. IV bag. So one quick tip I'm going to give you that I always do is I have my IV bag here and what I'll do is before shift I'll take you know one you know one or two IV bags and what I'll do is I'll just tape it around right on the back side. You never want to do it in the front but I'll tape the 60, 60 drop set with the smaller IV bag and the 10 drop set with the bigger IV bag right. So there's two main types of IV bags that you'll, you'll see. This one is a 250cc IV bag of normal saline. The other one is gonna be a thousand mLs or a thousand cc's of normal saline in the ambulance, okay? My drip set, see it comes right off because when you need to get fluids on board, you don't wanna be messing around. So it comes together with the correct one, you don't gotta look, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is make sure it's not expired. Now this is from a training school, so this is expired, that's why we're using it, okay? I'm gonna put this down, it's okay to put it down, okay? It's in a package. So first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna rip this open. So I'm gonna rip it open, okay? I have a garbage here. Now I'm gonna use an old, there's an old uh, lamp behind me, okay? I'm gonna use that as my, basically where I hang it from, okay? So I'm gonna take that out of the package in here, here we go. All right, I'm gonna go slow here for you guys, okay? So the first thing is it comes with a little hook here. See it, a little hook? So right here is the med port. If I'm gonna put a needle, it would go here and I'd push the meds in, okay? For example, if I was doing an epi drip or a, or a mag drip, I'd put the meds in through here. This is for spiking the line so it go into the patient, okay? Now remember, you gotta put, if I can get it here, here it is. You gotta put this lock into the IV catheter. This is the system. Top, drip set, this goes into the, the plastic catheter, and the plastic catheter is the final piece. Okay? So that's that. I hang this up. Okay? Now, people always say, you know, it's very, very important, okay, to, hey, you know, make sure you don't touch this, touch that. Yes, I totally understand that, okay? But again, this is EMS. You gotta be, you wanna be as careful as you can but you also need to be fast. So this is why I would have you practice this. Now this comes up, comes like this, okay? So what you wanna do here basically is, you're gonna have here a spike, I'm gonna show you. We still got our banjo man playing outside. All right. So what you see here, we have a spike. Okay, this is called the spike, right? We have the fluid chamber, this is the, the chamber. And then we have the clamp here. Okay, a little clamp. And then we have the end here, which is the end piece, that we can give meds through here. Okay? So I'm gonna show you the first thing we're gonna do. Now, what I normally would do here is see how this is all cap is a cap here? Let that cap, let that cap roll, let that cap hang out. You can put it down on the bench seat. A great place to put it in the ambulance would be like kind of right on the stretch of your patient, on the bench seat, all that stuff kind of works. Okay, so what you're gonna do here first is this is what you want to be careful of, okay? You have your glove, so I'm gonna take off my spike, all right? Before I do that, I'm gonna pull this tab off, okay? So I'm gonna take my tab off. Okay, the tab is off. Okay, so now we have our tab off. I'm gonna take this off, okay, straight up. And now I have a, my spike, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right to the IV bag, I'm gonna grab right on top, not here, right on top, and I'm going to spike the IV bag in a motion like this, okay? Until it goes all the way up. I'm not gonna to touch the spike or anything, or here. So in, I'm right here, I'm gonna go up, 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 up. Now this may not hang on, it's okay. Didn't think it would. Keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. Keep going up, keep going up. That's pretty much good there, okay? So now I'm gonna grab here, and I'm going to put it here. Okay, here it is. So now you can see fluid coming out here, okay? So I'm gonna just gonna push it a little bit until it goes about halfway. Keep going. Okay, so about halfway is pretty good. I'm gonna go a little more. All right, we're gonna stop there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my line here. I have a garbage here. 
And what I'm gonna do now is I wanna make sure that the line is flowing and I get all these bubbles out, okay? So a bubble, okay, I wish, you guys, I wish this was, so you can see the bubble coming down, see it? Right there, I don't know if you can see the camera. But that's the only bubble I got in here, okay? So I'm gonna let that baby go out. It's going down, oh, almost gone, it's almost gone. As soon as I see it's gone, I'm gonna get out of there. All right, we look good. Guys, if you really enjoyed this video and you're looking for even more in-depth videos, if you're looking to become a sharp student, if you're looking to become an EMS provider that your instructors, that your preceptors, and that your other classmates, they're proud of you. They think that you are sharp at your job and you're proud of the EMT or paramedic provider that you've become during school. Guys, this is why in the description down below, I made the paramedic coach course. We're adding some new things. I have a private student Facebook group. You can ask me whatever questions you want during school and I will get back to you with basically near immediate responses, as well as the 100 plus video library, all the way from EMT level BLS to ALS stuff, prescription meds, EMS meds. This is the ultimate prep course and in class online course to make you pass school on easy mode. So if you wanna pass school on easy mode and stop reading textbooks and watch videos like this, click down below, it's only $49. Guys, I'll see you next time, cheers.